In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate turntable animations in Blender. So the first thing you should do is just make sure your 3D model is in the very center of your 3D scene. Then I'm going to press Shift C just to make sure this 3D cursor is in the center of our view. Then I'll press Shift A and I'm going to go right down here to empty and then I like to use the sphere. I'm just going to scale this up so that it's a little bit bigger than the model. Then I'm going to select all the pieces of the model. So I'm just going to press A to select all of them. Just make sure all the pieces of the model are selected and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and lastly select the empty. You can see the empty is now a yellow color and the other pieces are orange. Then I'm going to press control P and I'm going to set parent to object keep transform. And because I parented this with the empty being the last object selected, I can now rotate this or grab it or scale it and the 3D model is going to move along with the empty. All right, so now we can start animating. So what I'm going to do right over here on the timeline is I'm going to make sure this is set to frame one. Then with the empty select, I'm going to press I and then I just want to add a rotation keyframe and you can see that it adds these keyframes right here So I want this animation to be 150 frames long So I'm going to click right here and center the blue line on 150 and then also I'm going to set the end frame to 150 then I'm going to go one keyframe over to 151 then what we need to do is we need to press R to rotate Z on the Z axis and I'm going to type in 360 so that it goes all the way around and then click enter then I'm going to press I again and I'm I'm going to insert another rotation keyframe. And why we need to set this keyframe at 151 instead of 150 is because 360 degrees is all the way around, so it's the same as zero. So if we set the keyframe at 150, then there'd be two little keyframes at the starting and ending where the car would be exactly at the same spot. So we need to just move it one keyframe over. So now if I play this, you can see that it's working, but it kind of speeds up and then slows down at the end. So to fix this, we need to hover our mouse over the timeline, make sure the empty is selected, and then press T, and we want to change change the keyframe interpolation to linear. On default it's set to BZA and that way it kind of speeds up and slows down and it's a smooth transition but we want it to be set to linear and that way it'll just go from the first keyframe to the last keyframe and it won't speed up and slow down. So now if you take a look at this you can see that the animation is perfectly loopable. All right so now you just need to add a camera and set up the lighting and just get it to how you like so that when it renders it looks good. So now let's go over to the render settings. Because this is going to be a video you could click on the file format and change to FFmpeg video and that would render it out to a video file but the problem with this is that while it's rendering if blender crashes or something happens the video file could become corrupt and so I prefer to render these out as PNG images and then in blenders video editor we can put them together into an image sequence and then I'll just click on the file icon to set an output and then I just made a new folder on my desktop and I'm just going to click on accept and that way all the frames will be rendered into that folder so then just press Control s to save your file and then go render and then click on render animation all right so all the frames rendered so I'm now here in blenders video editor to get to blenders video editor you can click on the plus here and then go down to video editing and then open up the video editing so then right down here on the timeline I'm gonna press shift a and I'm gonna go to image sequence then you're just gonna locate to the folder where you've saved all your frames and just press a to select all of them and then click on add image strip now to make sure it's a looping animation what you can do is just press shift D move over and then click to place it and you can see that it's perfectly loopable so you can just continue to duplicate these and make it spin around however many times you want. Then I'm going to set the end frame. I'm going to set it to 450 because I have three of them. And then let's just do the render settings. I'm just going to render it out to my desktop. And then right here, we're going to change this to FFmpeg video to render it out to a video file. And then I like to use MPEG4 as the container. And then right over here on the video, I like to turn the video codec to H.264 and just medium quality and good. And then you can just click on render and render animation and it's going to render the final video. And there we go. That is how you animate turntable animations in Blender. I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to help support this channel, I will have links in the description to my Gumroad and Patreon and my YouTube memberships. But thanks for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.